Well, good morning and welcome back to another one. Here we are all about small town life and I'm about to show you just how small town it is here. Uh, first, I gotta stop and get some gas. Uh, I gotta pay them astronomical Canadian prices for fuel. I know everybody's paying a high price for gas. We're no different. But again, the good thing about our small town, when the prices go up elsewhere, ours will usually hold steady for a few days, then jump. But the opposite is true as well. When the price drops elsewhere, ours takes its time going down as well there. So kind of evens itself out. Anyway, we're gonna stop here and get some fuel. And this guy here just cut me off. And we're gonna show you just how small our town is. What am I paying? I'm gonna be paying a dollar forty-six a liter. It was a dollar forty-two the other day. Dollar forty-six now. Convert that out times three point two five, something like that, and you get your gallon. See you all in a minute. All right, we got our fuel. I didn't quite fill up because uh, I got cold standing there waiting for it to fill. So we got our gas. Nonetheless, we're gonna drive around town here. Uh, something I want to show you all. And it's been going on for the past couple of years, but he's gaining some pretty uh, nationwide attention, shall we say. Uh, there's a radio show in Detroit, not far from where we are, uh, called Dave and Chuck the Freak on WRIF Radio. They actually did a story on this the other day, and I saw it on Facebook. And I had seen this thing around here for a while, but didn't know it was going to be as big as it was. We have a wild turkey in town here that has been here for the past few years. I'm just going to call him Tilbury Tom. Now he's been hanging around at one of the main intersections lately, but I'm downtown right now and I don't see him anywhere. So uh, we're going to go have a look see if we can find him. This is the intersection where he's been hanging around. Now we only have two intersections with lights. Uh, this is obviously one of the two. I don't see him anywhere. He was last seen the other day near this KFC. Just wander around for a bit, see if we can find them. Oh, oh, I think we got Tilbury Tom. So that turkey has been around here for a couple of years now, hangs around in the downtown area. He will walk out into traffic and make you stop. You wait for him to do his business, you might sit through a light or two, and then he'll wander on his day, and you can go through the lights. Now I will say, everybody in town has been pretty respective of this turkey. Nobody wants to be responsible for running him over. So everybody in town just lets him do his thing. He's just sitting there enjoying life doing turkey things. Have a look. A squirrel up there wondering what's going on. Well, I guess that's mission accomplished. If you all have any wildlife in your town that just kind of hangs around and 
doesn't care about the people leave me a comment down below this guy like i said this guy's been here for a couple of years living life doing turkey things here in town and uh people just kind of leave him alone he's become kind of a celebrity he has made some international attention uh, mainly for hanging out at the Kentucky Fried Chicken place. I seen him uptown for the past month or so and uh, He's now like I said, he's now making some international attention. I thought it was funny and uh, I thought y'all might enjoy that hit that subscribe button while you're here. We'd love to have you along and uh, We'll see you all in the next one later Without a doubt the last couple of times I seen that bird there's been a lineup of people trying to take pictures of them.